Hey family, good morning, good afternoon. I'm back again. Good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you own. I'm here with these Dementia Chronicles. Uh, and thank you for all who participated in the last uh, video. Uh, so a lot of us can relate to having high conflict people in our families. Thank y'all for sh hitting me up. Um, emails and whatnot. I really appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for leaving your comments. What I want to talk about today is pretty much the same thing, what you're dealing with. Um, what I like to start off with talk about is as uh, a human being, but belonging to the clan of the um, descendants of slaves, it's really difficult when you have a, such a large percentage of us that don't know how to communicate. And our social skills are such that if we feel challenged or conflicted about anything the first thing we do is grab a gun and just shoot it doesn't matter if a family member or whatnot so these type of things are real difficult and i want to encourage all of us to get better mental health uh treatment i just got a family here that the woman's son tried to scare the stepfather and ended up shooting him and killing him now she's in the middle of her son going to jail for marrying, I mean, for shooting his stepfather when it was a situation, in my opinion, that could have died down. Other relatives got involved, which is always a recipe for disaster. Like I was trying to tell you all the experience that I'm dealing with. So I encourage that. And we haven't learned how to do that very well. We haven't learned how to face our mortality very well. We don't want to talk about, we don't what's our will or have put one in place or insurance or you know where is the house going things like that and that is a sign of some type of you know block to me uh and i i respect white folks for pretty much having that in order and progressive black people so don't let me i don't want to broad brush this you'll see here progressive black people saying uh i mean yeah black people saying hey look i got the house and the trust i got this you know, my granddaughter gets this, my daughter is blah, blah, my son is that, whatever it is. And that is pretty much, y'all can talk about the way of the master, but that's the way he runs his business. Most of the times, you know, unfortunately, they might kill their relatives over these things that we're talking about. But the bottom line is they do get it done. They do uh, know that they're going to leave here one day and they want to make sure that they make their relatives life a little better being that they're left behind but you have some black people that are so evil and rotten that they're more like they, they want to squander away your birthright they want to bring children in the world not leave them anything to fend for um don't leave them a life because they're selfish and they are more like the guy on that commercial. I don't know if y'all all have seen, anybody seen, I think it's a Geico commercial where the guy has the fishing pole. And he's going, oh, oh, gotcha. Oh, almost, hey, oh, oh. And that's the way a lot of us live our lives. Or we're forced to live around people that don't want to communicate, don't know how to communicate, and are quick. They can only go two questions deep, if that, uh, or to even be questioned at all. And if not, they're ready to do harm to you. This is a problem in our community. It's also a problem when you have people who are personality disorder. You're always going to have your enablers. But when you have family members who haven't, like in my case, for instance, haven't talked to their aunt for 10 years, now that they sense uh, blood, they circling around. Uh, for some kind of way, trying to interject they self in a situation that, uh, well, where is her finances and this that stuff that has nothing to do with them, never had anything to do, but now they're injecting themselves into people's business on that level. This is a problem in our community, and I think that we gotta address this mental health because we are so crazy and nobody wants to mind their own business. And until we learn that, we're going to have some serious issues. All right, I'm going to see y'all in the next Chronicle.